YouTubers, look, the level of propaganda these days, it's, it's so incredible. It's just incredible. But I, don't, I think a lot of people that are critical thinkers and that have been studying and trying to stay on top of things and educating themselves on the Internet, they don't, by and large, in the comments, they don't fall for it. And one of the best comments here is a quote out of the article. I'll give you the title of the article in a second. It says, quote, the scientists are careful to avoid saying any single extreme weather incident is directly caused by global warming, saying too many factors are at play when it comes to weather, end quote. And the comment, the guy then goes on to say, but the title of the article is, quote, Iowa scientists drought a sign of climate change. Hmm, the guy says. See, this is very careful. This is the type of agenda that has realistic for you just looking his chops. Well, I don't know who that is, but I can tell you right now, again, I will give you three websites to the three leading, foremost, top-notch, high-end, weather control, climate modification, VLF harp sites if you want to educate yourself in the realm of weather control and climate modification. So there's no, there's no excuse for being ignorant when I tell you that these large systems and even small systems these days are being engineered by the military with their aerosol engineering and their harp using electromagnetic frequencies to manipulate and control the weather and in fact also change climate and melt the polar caps. They've been working on melting the polar caps since the 70s. This is a known fact. This is a known fact. They never stopped. And when you historically look at their schemes to melt the polar caps, if you look at Low Ponte's The Cooling, or go to Harold Saeev's website, Chemtrails Planet, you will get schooled in the historical uh, lesson of, of climate modification, weather modification. It's old school. Since the 60s and 70s, Project Popeye, Project Storm Fury. It just goes on and on, okay? And here's the Yahoo article, Propaganda, that I wanted to bring your attention to. Iowa scientists, drought a sign of climate change. You must understand they are pushing climate change as being you know, something that is not intentional. And many of us now have absolute proof that all these systems, 99% of them now, are being modified and intensified so that they can say climate change is getting serious and they can crack down on us. I've got a list of things why they would do this, Agenda 21, uh, control, um, money, it's monetary, a lot of business building up after these storms, Home Depot, you can, if you know when a storm's going to hit, you can go financially on the, on the Wall Street and you can make bets and you can make money. So it's financially lucrative. It allows for greater further control. It implements Agenda 21 in a backdoor type of way where no one can do anything about it because you can't go back to your home if it's destroyed or your place of employment is destroyed. You can't. You, we, we now know with Sandy, many people are never going to return, just like with Katrina, just like, just like with Andrew. Many people will never return to their homes after one of these intensified storm system strikes. So please replace the phrase climate change, okay, with weaponized weather. You see, none of these scientists from the establishment that say that climate change, we're responsible for it, for driving our cars around. Fortunately, they also say, like Gunderson, that nuclear energy is going to save us from climate change. So look, this is their scheme. Climate change is simply the worldwide harp system and this global ability to spray aerosols anywhere they want then they manipulate the weather. I simply say this, the fact none of their scientists mentioned weather modification, nothing at all, that's a red flag right there. You know they're in on it. They're highly paid to keep their mouth shut about weather modification while they try to sell climate change and force it down our throats with Al Gore. The science isn't finished, Mr. Gore, because you never mentioned in your science the spray planes and the freaking harp activity, right? So again, I find this decidedly a decidedly convenient piece of propaganda right here. Whoever this Iowa scientist is, he ought to never be able to work again. He ought to be ostracized from society. You're obviously highly paid to extol the talking points of climate change and convince further convince the sheeple. By the time I can wake one up, they've convinced two of them that climate change is real and they need to pay a carbon tax. So it's very difficult to wake people up and give them the information when they're so hopelessly inert and dependent on these government establishment scientists and political leaders for their information. They believe them. They believe them. They'll never question Obama, many people. They believe so much they'll never question. Well, I'm questioning everything, and I question climate change. It's not real, folks. It's weaponized weather. 
how else can we all have all these videos up online? How can we have all these articles accusing our government point blank of doing this and they can't do nothing about it? You want to know why? Because to haul us into court only brings attention to the fact. They don't want a court case. They don't want this brought to light. They don't want the press actually taking a look at us. That's why Bill Quinlan and your local meteorologist keeps his mouth shut. Because he's paid to keep his mouth shut. He knows not to speak out. And if he's not paid, just out of fear of repercussions, he'll never say anything. But they all know. They all know because the plane spray over everybody's head and everybody's got the lung problems now. Number three leading cause of death up from number eight, right? Thanks to the spraying of the planes and the nanoparticulates. So we're not going to shut up about this. I'm going to give you three links to three of the best websites, in my opinion, on climate modification, on weather modification, on the harp activity. These are the best ones to go to. Please, if you haven't already, just you know, put aside 30 minutes or an hour a week after the football game or whatever, go in there and spend a little time looking around. It's interesting. It's very interesting to learn how they control weather and to learn the technology they've been hiding from the vast majority of American citizens. They want you to be an expert in fantasy football, but they want you to know absolutely nothing about the harp and about the aerosol engineering that's going on. They really don't want you to know that. So it is your duty to go to these sites and inform yourself and then tell your friends, tap them on the shoulder, look, if you will just look at our evidence, if you'll open your mind long enough to weigh and consider our version of the story, our evidence, I think you will be swayed with new information comes to light. You will change your mind. Okay, so please, that's all I'm asking. All right, Patrick Penry, over and out.